good morning class in the previous class we had discussed about the various number systems and we had started with number system conversions as well we have done two conversions binary to decimal and decimal to binary today we will be doing decimal to octal and octal to decimal whenever a number is to be converted from decimal to some other base it is to be divided by that base like in the previous turn we had learnt about decimal to binary what we used to do we used to divide the number by 2 in decimal to octal we will be dividing the number by 8 here so to convert a decimal equivalent into its octal equivalent follow the same procedure as binary conversion but in this case divide the decimal number by 8 instead of 2 Continue the division till we get 0 as the quotient. See this example. 395 base 10 is to be converted to base 8. So divided by 8, the quotient are to be written over here and the remainder is to be written over here. We have to divide till we get the quotient as 0. The remainders are written in the answer from bottom to top. So 613 base 8 is the octal equivalent of this decimal number. Another example is given here, 4759 base 10 is to be converted into its octal equivalent. 4759 base 8, when, con when divided by 8, it gives the quotient 594 and the remainder is 7. Again it is divided by 8, we get the quotient 74 and the remainder is 2. Again it is divided by 8, we get quotient 9 and remainder is 2. Again it is divided by 8, we are getting this 0 and remainder as 1. So, when we write from bottom to top, the answer is 11227 base 8. So, this is the octal equivalent of the decimal number 4759. Now, in this question, 445.37, there is a decimal point in between. That means it has an integral part as well as a fractional part. So, to convert it into its octal equivalent, we have to separate the integral part and the fractional part first of all and then divide the integral part by 8 as we did in the previous question and multiply the fractional part by 8 as we have done in the binary, in the binary one. Okay? Then this and this are to be written together as the answer but here the remainder values are written from bottom to top and the carry values are written from top to bottom. See, we are not getting 0 as the answer here, but we are stopping with when we get 4 values. Okay, we can move further, but we will see that we are not getting 0, so we will stop after 4 values of decibel. So, we will write approx here. This is how it is converted into its equivalent octal. I hope you all must have understood. Next comes the conversion of octal to decimal. 4105 is an octal number. It is to be converted into its equivalent decimal. So first we will write the number of significant digits. Starting from 0. On, on the right, 0, 1, 2, 3. On top we will write. Then we will multiply each digit with 8 raised to power 3. 4 into 8 raised to power 3. Then add to 1 into 8 raised to power 2. 0 into 8 raised to power 1. And 5 into 8 raised to power 0. Look here. 8 raised to power 3 is 5 and 2. So 4 into 512. 1 into 64 is 64. 0 into 8 is 0. And 5 into 1. 8 raised to power 0 is 1. It is 5. So when we add all this, we get the answer 2117 base 10. Here is another example where we have taken a decimal question. 5412.35 base 8 is to be converted into its equivalent decimal. So, here also we will be writing the number of significant digits. Before the decimal point, we will be starting from right and moving till left. 0, 1, 2, 3. And after the decimal point, we will not start with 0, we will start with 1. 1 and 2. We will write it like this. So, before the decimal point, it will be 5 into 8 raised to power 3 plus 4 into 8 raised to power 2 plus 1 into 8 raised to power uh, 1 plus 2 into 8 raised to power 0 plus 3 into 8 raised to power minus 1 plus 5 into 8 raised to power minus 2. When we calculate all this, we get the answer 2827.15625 base 10. So, this is the decimal equivalent of this octal number. The next conversion is octal to binary. 
See, every octal digit can be converted into its binary equivalent in three bits form. 0 means 0, 0, 0. 1 means 0, 0, 1. 2 means 0, 1, 0. 3 means 0, 1, 1. 4 means 1, 0, 0. 5 means 1, 0, 1. 6 means 1, 1, 0. And 7 means 1, 1, 1. How do we get this? Octal numbers are from 0 to 7. And its binary equivalent is always in 3 bits form. How do we get this? Above this 0, 0, 0, you write 1, 2, 4. 0. That means the answer should be 0. Nothing is to be added. You have to add 4, 2 and 1. How do you get it? If you get the number, you have to write 1 beneath it. If you are not getting it, you are going to write 0. You don't have to add any of these to get 0. So you write false beneath it. Here, 1. 1, that means only 1 is to be there. So true is to be written beneath it and 0 and 0. 2, that means 2 is to be written underneath 2 and 0 here and 0 here. 3, 2 plus 1 is 3. So in dono ke niche hum 1 likhenge and iske niche likhenge 0. 4, that means 4 ke niche hum sir 1 likhenge, in dono ke niche likhenge 0. 5, 5 means 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 ke niche hum true likhenge and beech wale mein likhenge 0. 6, 6 means, I am writing it here, 4 and 2 when added become 6. So iske niche true likhenge and iske niche likhenge 0. 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1, matlab tino ko jab add karenge, tab 7 aayega. So we will write 1, 1, 1. So this is how we get the binary equivalent of an octal digit. Now when we have to convert a number to its binary equivalent, then separate the various digits of the binary of the octal number. 3, 1, 2. This is the shorthand form. Children, okay? Octal number 3 ka equivalent kya hota hai? 0, 1, 1. Yaha dekha hai hamne table mein. 1 ka kya hota hai? 0, 0, 1. And 2 ka 0, 1, 0. Aur phir tino ko saath mein likhto. This is the answer. Otherwise, what is the long method? You have to convert the octal number to decimal first and decimal number to binary. So, you have to do two methods. Do conversions. This is the shorthand method to convert an octal number directly to binary. I hope you all must have understood. Take another example. Look at this 704. It is to be converted into binary. 7 ka binary equivalent kya hota hai? Alak kar lije. 1, 1, 1. 0 ka 0, 0, 0, 4 ka 1, 0, 0. Write them together. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the answer. That is all you have to do. Now take a number with a fractional part. This is a octal number. You have to convert it into binary. Sare digits is ke alak kar lo. 4, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 1. Like this. And find their binary equivalents. 4, 3, 5, 7. Sabse pehle unke likhe charo. Phir ek decimal point lagaya. Phir likho 2 ka 0, 1, 0. Then 4 ka 1 0 0 and 0 0 1. This is the final answer. I hope you all must have understood how we are supposed to convert an octal number directly into binary without doing the middle conversion of decimal. Thank you class. This is all for this session. I will continue with the conversions in the next class also.